Hello again, everyone. This is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness, and today I'll be discussing with you one of the most underrated and underappreciated bodybuilding books ever written, and also one of my favorite, Building Bulk and Power, the Revised Edition by Bill Pearl and Leo Stern. Now, this booklet was originally written in the year 1963 and was part of a larger series of booklets designed to help the bodybuilder sculpt their body. This one in particular is was designed for a bodybuilder intending to bulk and gain size, but not in the way to gain fat, just lean muscle tissue. So we'll start off with the, of course, index. In the beginning, you get an introduction, which is very nice. It is essentially Leo Stern and Bill Pearl giving you motivation and tips and tricks about how to succeed when using this book. It's wonderful. I actually, it's part of my Part of the reason I love this book so much is the motiva motivating little speech. It really helps you out. Chapter 2, you get the Building Bulk and Power, which is it, ex it essentially is explaining what this book is and how it can help you. Chapter 3 is how to use this book. Chapter 4, the equipment needed. And chapter 5, 6, and 7 are the three separate bodybuilding courses that will help you develop your goal physique. Chapter 8 is the diet. Chapter 9 is the training notes. So, if we skip to chapter 1, should I say course 1? Essentially what you see here is all of these courses are full body workouts, recommended three days a week, a week and some of the exercises are meant to be alternated. Now, I should mention that when this book was originally published, some of the exercises in here were a little bit different, such as the flat-footed wide stance barbell squat. Originally, that was the wide stance foot-supported breathing squat, which the reps were the same, two sets, 15 reps, but the exercise is vastly different. The primary goal of that exercise was to expand the rib cage which was a primary goal of many bodybuilders during the 60s to have a larger rib cage development to enhance the size and look of the pectorals. So some of the exercises are different, but I don't think they're different in a bad way in this new volume. I think in many ways they're modernized and, and appropriate for the modern lifter. If I haven't mentioned it already, this book is very short, but in a way that's its greatest strength. It's condensed. There's not much filler, and there's nothing to get confused about. You follow from course one to course two to course three over six-week periods. When you read a book like Keys to the Inner Universe or Arnold Schwarzenegger's Encyclopedia for the Bodybuilder, there is so much information for the novice, it can be very overwhelming. A booklet like this, short and to the point, is exactly what a beginner needs. And in many ways, I think that's why I regard this booklet to be one of the best starter books for a bodybuilder. It's easy to follow. You have a lot of compound lifts, and it's effective. It just works. Another thing that's amazing is many of these exercises can be done at home with a simple adjustable weight bench or maybe just a flat bench, a couple pairs of dumbbells, and a barbell and plates. You can have a full body workout that will really tax your endurance, your strength, and will help you build a body a little bit closer to that. Of course, nobody is going to look like Bill Pearl. In my opinion, he had the greatest body of all time, and I think a lot of this was due to training style, a training style like this. A lot of compound lifts with very few accessory movements and a couple of specific isolation movements, such as the curls to help develop his weak body parts, like his biceps, and that really helped make him into a balanced bodybuilder. And I think maybe that is why a lot of people overlook his greatness, because he was so ahead of his time. When you compare him to a lot of his contemporaries, in many ways he blew them out of the water, both with size and shape. Also, he was a master poser. In my opinion, if it wasn't for him, I don't imagine Chris Dickerson would have captured his first Olympia title. The way... Bill Pearl posed was artistic. It it turned what was otherwise a 
you know, just an amazing body into an amazing piece of contemporary art. So that is one of the reasons I, I regard everything Bill Pearl makes, all of his literature, to such high standard. It is absolute class. And the fact that you can still purchase this right now on Amazon for about $12 is astounding. $12, and all those proceeds go to Bill. He's 90 years old. That should be the telltale sign right in itself. The man is 90, still living, still posting to Facebook regularly, still teaching the youth. I mean, it's it's amazing. I'll just show you a couple pictures. But if I haven't said it enough already, I definitely uh, recommend this book to everyone, especially if you're a novice. It's extremely overlooked. I'm sorry, underlooked and underappreciated. And I feel like that should change because it is a wonderful book, one of my personal favorites. And in many ways, to most people, I would recommend this book over Keys to the Inner Universe. Like I mentioned, mentioned, it's a lot smaller, but of course it doesn't cost much. And it's very straight and to the point with a lot of exercises that maybe you're familiar with, but the variations are different, a little bit a little bit different uh, form too, like the bent arm lateral. It's not a fly. It's not a bench press. It's a bent arm lateral. And if you want to learn more about that exercise, I'd highly recommend you to get this book because it's a fantastic exercise that you rarely ever see done anymore. So if you have any questions regarding building bulk and power or any of Bill's other books, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. More reviews over these little booklets will be coming out shortly. I plan to review all of them. I have all of them, and I'll probably review the originals as well. I have them packed away, but if you all are interested, I'll show those as well. So until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye. And that concludes this video. If you're interested in any more golden or silver bodybuilding content, check out my Instagram at Official Forgotten Fitness, and also consider supporting Vince's original nutrition company, NSP Nutrition. They make some of the best merchandise, supplements, and books on the market. You can use my code VINCE10 at checkout for an additional 10% off your purchase. And until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.